Hey everybody, welcome to Slow Riders Motor Vlog. Today we're going to be going over the 2024 Honda Navi. We're going to go over this thing, review it, and take it for a nice country ride. So sit back, relax. Slow Riders Motor Vlog is about to begin. All right, guys, so this is the 2024 model. Um, they've been making the Honda Navi since uh, 2022. Um, being an owner of the 2022 model, I can tell you by going over this one last night that it's absolutely the same thing. It hasn't changed since 2022. Only thing has changed is the colors, which I think they did an amazing job on the, the color combinations this year uh, with the... Um, metallic uh, pearl blue the metallic pearl red the pearl white um, and they also have it in silver um, maximum capacity on this is 334 pounds okay um, you can have a passenger it does have passenger pegs but the max is 334 pounds um, the seat height is 30 inches and as you can see this thing sits way low to the ground so you have plenty of clearance to sit down and flat foot on the ground so even a shorter person this is probably one of the you know this is a perfect motorcycle um, if you were just getting started and it is the same height as the honda grom the weight on this is a light 234 pounds. Like when you're riding this thing, you can, it's, it's incredible how light this thing is and how nimble it is. Um, like I said, it really has not changed at all um, from the 2022 model. It's 110 cc, it's automatic. Uh, you're gonna have your brake here and, and then the brake on the floor here. Uh, you're going to have your fill up tank. If your fuel goes here. Um, I think it's like almost just shy of a gallon. And you can put anything from 87 octane up to 90. Uh, no more than 10% of ethanol. So I'm going to probably put 90 ethanol free in here when it's time to fill up. I still have the uh, gas in from the dealership. But just a really basic, fun, uh, fun little automatic motorcycle. We're going to dive a little deeper into it. So guys, uh, and we'll look at the storage on it and some of the other little features. All right, guys. So now we're going to discuss the elephant in the room. And that is, what is the price of the Navi? Well, when the Navi first came out in 2022, it was advertised. Uh, Honda's MSRP was 1807 and people were going crazy because they were going to dealerships and they were charging like one at four or five thousand dollars out the door, which is, is completely insane. Um, Honda did raise the price slightly. It is the MSRP is 1920 some 1921 or something, which is still very cheap. With that being said, anytime you buy a car, truck, motorcycle anything there's going to be destination fees there's going to be crate fees there's going to be taxes and tags um just those processing fees and everything i would say if if you're going to a dealership and they're selling it for two thousand dollars you should not pay any more than thirty one hundred dollars out the door if it's higher than that i've had people send me messages saying they wanted over four thousand dollars for it out the door that is completely insane um, I know state taxes are, uh, vary from state to state here in Maryland or 6%. Um, you know, try to get, try to like, if, if you have bought motorcycles at this dealership before, you know, a lot of times I know I get a couple hundred dollars for, a, you know, for buying so many bikes at the same dealership. Um, and you know, it's a frequent customer discount. 
you know, try to talk them down a little bit, but I, you should not be paying any more than $3,100 out the door for this bike because the MSRP is only 1900 some. I mean, once they get to a dealership, like I said, I've seen them for 1900 and I've seen one dealership uh, in the state of Maryland selling them for 2100 like I said, no matter what, it should not be any more than 3,100. If someone's trying to sit, go out the door for 4,000 or more, yeah, that, that's just, they're just trying to rip you off. All right, guys, now that we have addressed that, let's dive into this thing. All right, so you are going to get a key. This is um, started with a key, not a key fob. Uh, you're going to get two keys, just your standard uh, motorcycle key. Um, you do have a parking brake here. Here is your choke and your lights, high beams, low beams, your turn signals, your horn. Let's go ahead and we'll listen to the horn. Pretty loud. You have your kill switch and your ignition right here um this foam mount is perfect for this uh this particular scooter i got this off of amazon it just twists on there locks in and your phone is perfectly placed right in front of and you will see that when we're out riding your key is also going to open your fuel tank just like that just twist this off and you can sit that in there while you're filling up and like i said it's under a gallon of gas this thing has very very small tires um and that's probably the only drawback that i have on this thing uh it can get a little uh sketchy when you're hitting that 55 mile an hour mark on those little tires but it's all good here you have your fuel uh, fuel cock um, it's on off now so when you go to go in to drive it you just turn it down and that's your fuel and if you run out of gas you go up to here and that's your fuel reserve you have a little storage compartment with the navy written across it and that's also used the key and the mine sticks a little bit but there is a lot of room in here it's really deep and it's wide i like that storage and it just locks in like that you do have your kickstand it will not run while the kickstand is down if it's cold out and you want to run it start it for a while you just put it on the center stand and you'll be good to go you have your passenger pegs for your passenger. Remember the max weight on this thing is 334 pounds. And down here, this is your key. This is your, that pops the seat and this seat comes off like so. And if you ever have to change the tail light, uh, your tools go right in here, and you also have a little a storage underneath the seat here. It's a very, it's pretty convenient. This can be a little pain to get this snapped back into place, but we're just going to set it there for now. All right, moving around to the back of the bike, you have your shocks here, and if you, you do have a uh, kickstart on it as well you have a nice little hand bar that the per your passenger can hang on to you have your spot for your tag you have your um, brake light you have your blinkers and some reflectors down there i know in the state of maryland i don't know each each state's different um Anything over 50 cc's, you do need a motorcycle license and a tag. So keep that in mind. It, it, it does vary state to state. So 
Down here, we have our trickle charger, and that way we can keep it uh, plugged up when we're not gonna ride it for a while, maybe in the winter or so. And again, we have another passenger peg. You have your oil stick, and I believe down here is where you're gonna change the oil. So it's pretty easy to get to, especially when the stand is up. And here's your stick. Another passenger peg. And your brake. These are pretty comfortable. I even you can even put down your passenger pegs, and when you're sitting, you can actually put your feet back like this. That's how close you are. But just a really nice, fun motorcycle. Uh, just a joy to ride. Um, if you're looking to go over. 55 miles an hour, this is not the bike for you. I can tell you that right off. I think the top speed on this is gonna be about 55 miles an hour. Um, a lot of people buy these and then they say, well, it's too slow. Well, it's, 100, it's 110 cc's, it's, it's only gonna go that fast. I mean, I'm sure you can do modifications, but if you want something to go faster than 55, um, I mean, that's going to be tops is 55. It runs really good in the upper 40s, low 50s. But uh, if you're looking for something a little faster, this definitely is not the bike for you. But overall, it's just a fun, easy commuter. And um, I think you guys really will enjoy this. Uh, so we're going to jump on this right now. We're going to take a country ride. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of different angles so you can get the feel of how the bike looks when it's riding. All right, so let's jump on this thing and let's get ready to go. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is take the Navi out on some country roads. We're going to um, see how it does on hills. I'm going to give you some different angles so you can kind of get the feel of the way the bike looks when it's riding, this uh, sitting position. There's some deer ahead. We definitely don't want them guys running out in front of us. Okay, clear. So yeah, I'm gonna give you some different angles, different shots. Uh, we'll see how she does going up the hills. Now you got to understand that this thing only has 46 miles on it, so it's not even near broke in yet. The broke in, the break in mileage is uh, 600, so we're not going to get maximum speed out of this thing quite yet. It's going to take a while, but we're cruising easily around um, the 40s. Is really easy on this thing. But we're just taking it easy right now. I definitely want to respect the um, the break-in speed. And I remember back in my uh, when I had the 2022 uh, Navi. Um, I noticed the more I rode it, the faster that thing got. So, and I'm sure that's going to be this case as well and this is the like I said this is the perfect phone mount for this um, it's under $20 and it just fits just perfect because you can look right down at it All right, we're going to get ready to go up a hill. So we'll see what, what kind of speed we're getting. All 
right, we definitely are increasing our speed. lost a little bit but it looks like we lost two or three miles an hour up that hill and now we're gonna go down the hill so we hit 46 as this car pulls out in front of us.
Now I tell you one thing about the what I love about this thing it is so light it is so easy to ride I'm getting a little used to the because on the ruckus in the x-max you know all the brakes are up here I'm just trying to get used to the little foot brake there again and I guess that's why Honda considers this a motorcycle because um, one of the brake is on the you have to use your foot let me know in the comments below if if that's the reasoning for them calling this a motorcycle and not a scooter so our top speed right now on this thing is 46 miles an hour We're getting ready to go down, go up a hill, then go down a hill. And as you can see, completely flat footed, very easy, plenty of room. In the sitting position on this thing, it's great for a, a shorter person and a taller person because look at the distance. I mean, somebody well over six foot can sit on this thing easy. And then you can put your leg, rest your legs against the side. Now that doe didn't make it. The only thing that makes me feel a little skittish on this thing, to be completely 100% honest, is the really, really, really tiny tires. All right, now we're getting ready to go down a pretty big hill. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kind of like ease on the throttle and see what kind of speed we get. So I kind of backed off a little bit, but we did hit 51. And that's very that's very good for early on in the process. So I'm I'm feeling super confident that that 55 miles an hour might happen. And like I said, I backed off a little bit. So I feel like we could have got 52, 53. So yeah guys, if you're looking for something that is lightweight, super fun, very economical, I believe the Navi is it. If you're looking for that, you know, small mini moto that looks like a motorcycle, feels like a motorcycle, um, I believe that this is going to definitely be the one for you. I know I love riding it. I'm, I know I'm going to love riding it and taking this thing on adventures. Um, it feels good to have one again. All right, guys. Remember, like, subscribe, comment below. Stay tuned for lots and lots of more content, bike reviews, adventures, you name it. All right, guys. Until next time, Slow Riders Motovlog is out of here.